my lovely viewers, welcome again to my Smarties and I, it's a presenter Jeff Nino and um, uh, today we shall be discussing um, calculus but under calculus we shall be looking at indefinite integrals, okay? Indefinite integrals. Now in our previous videos we talked about differentiation and now we can differentiate um, a function and differentiate trigonometric functions but in today's video we shall be looking at how we can integrate some functions and not just some functions, but some indefinite functions. That is, one thing you understand that there's a, there's, there's a definite integral and there's an indefinite what? Integral. So this video talks about indefinite integral. But before we start solving the problems you see on the board, I want to give you a quick difference between differentiation and integration. Now, don't forget when we said, when you differentiate a function, for example, um, 4x raised to the power 3. If we should differentiate 4x raised to the power 3, our answer would be 12x raised to the power 2. And how is that possible? We use 3 to multiply 4 to give us 12, and then we minus 1 from 3 to give us 2. Okay, but if we should integrate 4x raised to the power 3 and x, if we should integrate the same 4x raised to the power 3, we don't multiply, rather, we add to the power. Okay, we add 1 to the existing power. Now, what is the existing power here, 3? So, when I add 1, if I should integrate, it becomes 4x raised to the power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus k. Now, you see, the difference is this. Here, we subtract 1 after multiplying, but here, we don't multiply. We only add 1. And when we add 1 to the numerator, to the, sorry, to the power, what we have in the power is what we're going to have at the denominator. And then there's a plus k. Now, why, there's, why is there a plus k? It is because this question is an indefinite integral. Okay. So now the answer to this question becomes 4x raised to the power 4 over 4 plus k. But we all know that 4 can cancel out 4. So our final answer becomes x raised to the power 4 plus k. Now you see the difference. If we differentiate 4x cubed, we will get 4x. So we will get 12x squared. And if we should integrate 4x cubed, we will get x raised to the power 4 plus k. Okay, again, in differentiation, we were told that if we differentiate a constant, the result is 0. For example, if I should differentiate 4, the answer is 0 because 4 is a constant. But if I should integrate 4, the answer becomes 4x plus k. Now, what is the difference? When you are differentiating a constant, the result is zero. But when you are integrating a constant, any number, a constant, the answer becomes the constant and x plus what? Plus k. Now, for instance, 4 is a constant, so you add x to it. So if I should integrate 10, it becomes 10x plus k. If I should integrate 20, it becomes 20x plus k, so on and so forth. So with this simple analysis, let us see how we can solve the three questions on the board. Now with these questions, I bet you, you will be able to solve problems on this in any given examination condition. Now if you know this is your first time, you know, uh, uh, in coming in contact with our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to comment. And most especially share our videos. Share our videos in your platform, your, in your social networks, and all of it, so that other persons can also learn and get grab this opportunity. Okay, let us begin the class. Question number one says, integrate um, 6x raised to the power 2 plus 8x minus 5 dx. Now, how do we integrate? I told you, when we are integrating, you add 1 to the power. Now, the first power I have here is 2. So here becomes 6x raised to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, okay, plus... Now my existing power here is 1, x is carry 1. So here it becomes 8x raised to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. You must add 1 to the power. Now if you see 5, 5 now is a constant. And we said when you integrate a constant, the answer you get is 5x. So here it becomes minus 5x plus k. Now why is there k? Because the question is an indefinite what's integral. Okay, now... Let's add the powers. So 2 plus 1 gives us 3. So here it becomes 6x raised to the power 3 over 2 plus 1 also gives us 3. Um, plus 8x raised to the power 2 over 2 
minus 5x plus k. Now, you would see that 3 can go into 6 and 2 can go into 8 without remainder. So if 3 should cancel 6, I will get 2. Then x raised to the power 3. If 2 should cancel 8, I will get 4. Then x raised to the power 2 minus 5x plus k. So class, this becomes the answer to the question when we integrate the function 6x squared plus 8x minus 5 ds. I believe that was clear and that was simple to understand. It is as simple as this. Just check for the power and add one to it. When there is no power, it means there is no constant. It means there is, there is no x and it means it is a constant. And when you integrate a constant, you add x to it and that is all. Okay, that is question number one. Let us go to question number two. Question number two. All right, question number two says, Integrate 9x minus 4 dx. Okay, integrate 9x minus 4 dx. Now, again, we begin. The power here is 1, so I add 1 to it. So here it comes 9x to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 minus now 4 is a constant. So what becomes 4 if you integrate it? 4x minus 4x plus k. Now, adding the powers together, we have this. 9 x raised to the power 2 over 2 minus 4x plus k. Now, there is no way 2 can divide 9 that there will be no remainder. So, we'll leave our answer in this form. 9 x raised to the power 2 over 2 minus 4x plus k. So, that is the answer to question number 2. And then the last question we have is question number 3. But before we proceed with question number 3, I want our viewers to know that we now operate online classes. And um, if you know you are, uh, you, you, are, you are interested in our online classes on mathematics, please you can write to us on our Twitter handle, at Jeff Nino, at Jeff Nino, and then we will reply to you, and then we will talk about how it would be like. Okay, this is question number 2. Let us go to question number three now, which is the last question for today. Now, the last question says, integrate um, 12x to the power 3 plus 6x to the power 2 minus 8x plus 10 ds. Okay. Now, again, we repeat what we have been doing. Now, we add 1 to the powers and over and, and, and base as the denominator. So, here it comes 12 x raised to the power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus 6 x raised to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 minus 8 x raised to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 10 x plus k. Okay, now 3 plus 1 gives us 4. So here we come 12 x raised to the power 4 over 4 plus 6 x raised to the power 3 over 3 minus 8x raised to the power 2 over 2 plus 10x plus k. You see, it is as simple as this. It is as simple as this. Just obey the rule. O -o 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 obey the rule and yes, you are good to go. Now, 4 can divide 12, 3 can divide 6, 2 can divide 8. So if 4 should divide 12, it becomes 3. x raised to the power 4. If 3 should divide 6, it becomes 2. x raised to the power 3. If 2 should divide 8, it becomes 4 x to the power 2. And what do I have? Plus 10x plus k. So this becomes the answer to question number 3. So class, you see how simple it can be when we solve problems on indefinite integral. Apply the simple what rule that says add 1 to your power over what you have as your new power. So we have come to the end of today's class of indefinite integral although more videos will be coming out on integration but as time goes on please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if this is your first time for joining us and also don't forget to share our videos on your various platforms till we meet again in our next video have a good time bye for now